Hi friends, it's Vicki Booten and I'm super excited I get to share my new creative space. This area is in the basement of our home and it's been a work in progress for about a year. The room has been completed for a number of months but I finally put all the finishing touches and I'm ready to share it with you guys. I do have a space upstairs that I use and do all my filming in but I was finding that that space just wasn't fitting my needs anymore. So we made this area in the basement into a bathroom, some storage area, and then my new creative space, which my family often tries to come down here and steal. And I say, oh no, children and husband, this is by invitation only. You can come and visit me when I let you in there. But when I'm down in this room, it's to get away from you guys. No, not really, but kind of, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm really excited. Like I've said before, because I'm often excited to get to share this room with you guys now and hopefully answer any questions that you have about where I source things, how I'm storing. Definitely, if you have any questions, make sure you add them to the comments and I'll get back to you and try to share any information that I can impart and um, let you know the things that I find work really well and maybe things that I would change. So just make sure that you like Follow, do all of the things here on YouTube and um, leave your comments in the comment section if you have any questions or you want to know uh, what I'm doing in this room. So I can't wait to share. Let's go take a look. I've always wanted a barn door. So I added this barn door into the hallway and uh, painted it turquoise because it's my favorite color. There it is, let's take a look. So I'm gonna walk you through and then we can focus on a few things. So in the room, and sorry if it's very hollow sounding, but it is the basement and all the sound bounces. But I put these custom kitchen cupboards in from Ikea. I designed it, I did it all online just with the measurements of the space and then ordered a lot of the lighting and different pieces from Wayfair.ca and if you're in the States, you can do it from .com. And then we put this beautiful tile up on the backsplash. It's such a small space that I was able to find a tile I was really in love with. And I've always wanted a um, apron front kitchen sink. So I put that in here and it's especially perfect for all of the cleaning that I do with the paints and mixed media. This unit here I bought on from Zulily. So I love this thing. It has deep storage. So but I can fit lots of uh, stamps and dies and uh, eight and a half by 11 paper. So this whole uh, unit fills, is filled to the brim with lots of little things, but it's nice and deep. So I love that it looks pretty, but it's super functional. And then of course my letter boards that uh, I get from die cuts with a view. I love that. And these are some of the unicorns that are gonna go on my Christmas tree. And then just pretty design. And um, I love tiered shelving for anywhere in my house. So I just put a lot of my Vicky Booten on there. And then if you take a look in this corner, this was a desk that my daughter had in her room and has since changed her mind and didn't want the uh, shelving unit. So it's all Ikea with the um, kind of build your own desk idea. It has the drawer set, and then that is an open stock tabletop, and then the um, Calyx now, it's called, it used to be Expedit, but the Calyx unit that I've put a lot of my props for filming and such in here. So I have the baskets, some of the shorter baskets, I don't think you can find anymore at Ikea, sorry about that, but uh, I have them because I've been collecting Ikea forever, so I have those in the unit. But these cubes are meant to go upright, but we just put them on our side and I have lots of potential for storage. I haven't filled everything yet because right now I'm just happy to have the room clean and then kind of organize all the sections and then I can decide where I want to put things. And I customize the uh, drawer pulls, just finding things at like HomeSense or Winners, TJ Maxx, whatever you have uh, where you guys live uh, are great to just customize to make it interesting. And then this desk, I've also put a plug in, if you can see it up there on the ceiling. Can you see it up there? And that's for eventually I could put a video camera up there to film on this table or to do some photography. And then just pretty little things that I found 
to decorate uh, the top of the cabinet. As you walk into this room, I wanted a little section that I could come and watch TV. And this Vicki Booten sign was actually in my booth at American Crafts, I think the second year that I was there. So um, my uh, creative director helped me package it up and I brought it home on the plane because I'm like, that cannot go in the garbage. I absolutely love that. And then that whole back wall looks like it is uh, painted exposed brick, but it's actually flat. And I have to share this with you, okay? I'm trying to back up so you guys can see it better with having the uh, camera horizontally. But this paper roll, I absolutely love and got the idea from scrapbook.com. They actually have a larger paper roll in one of their offices and I loved it and decided I needed to have this in my workspace. So I'll provide the info for that if it's something you think you'd be interested in sourcing and finding. And then I have this gold cart that I have some mini books and a drill. Look at that. I was gonna put photos up there and change my mind, but the drill didn't get put away. But the gold cart is from World Market as well, and I love that. I have a number of these, the Raskog turquoise carts, and then found the gold one because I wanted gold accents in this room. So I have that there, and there's another one under my desk. And then I have this unit, which was another super duper find. And uh, it's from an online store called Antique. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to remember that one. I'll have to post it in um, my description. I think it's called antiquefarmhouse.com, but I'll look it up and post that for you. But I love, again, look how much I can get stored in this cart. And I put a lot of my Vicky Booten stuff and my class supplies in here. And I love that. And then of course I put a TV in here so that I can watch television while I'm working. And this is one of the pieces de resistance is a art cabinet, but there's a little secret I'm gonna share with you momentarily. But this was custom designed. I um, drew this up and my friend built it for me and I can store all of my pretties in here. Take a look at this. I love Liquitex and deco art paint and I've stored a ton of that in all my golden mediums. So it's all in there, the stencil brushes, all of the little, all my different uh, books from all of my friends that I have down here that I store on here as well. And of course, look at that washi tape. I store tons of washi up here as well. And I've done everything rainbow because it's kind of my jam. And then let's kind of walk over here. So this was a wall that was all white and I decided it needed a little bit of color. So I had a punch of color in here. So I have videos as well or photos that I um, took while I was building this or painting this wall. I painted the whole background uh, rainbow and then I actually used these paints. So the Liquitex paints to build that or paint that wall and then I put a stencil on top of the wall from Royal Stencils and actually all the white you see is what uh, went through the stencil. So I love how this wall turned out. Let's back up so you can see. And then I customized a desk from Ikea. So with two of the units that I have to look up because I can't remember what they're called, Calyx maybe? I can't remember, but I'll post those. I put two of those units in there and then two of the desktops that are customizable desks, and then we seamed it. So we had to cut one down and then seamed it and filled it, if you can see that seam there. But let me show you a little peek at the uh, desktop. I am going to walk past so you guys can get a better look. Look at the chair too. That hello was something I ordered from Etsy, but you could easily, if you have a silhouette, cut it out of vinyl. But I really love anything that's impactful in text, so I wanted to add that there. And then just put a bunch of my favorite things up on my shelves. So things I found at Ikea and in my travels, storage for my art crayons, and the new brushes that I ordered from scrapbook.com. I love the domed edges. And then take a look at this case. This cabinet is from Ikea, 
and look at how awesome it is. It stores all of my distress inks, the oxides and the traditional distress ink. And then at the dollar store, if I can get my finger in there, friends with holding the camera, I store all of my little bits underneath it. This unit is amazing and I will definitely include the name of it in my um, description but it is the best storage I have found yet for my Distress Ink. The desk that I customized out of Ikea. So remember the cabinet that I showed you at the beginning of the video that had the um, eight openings? This is that cabinet turned on its side, but we cut it down to make it a six opening cabinet because the width of it wouldn't have fit my room otherwise. And then we use, so again, Pardon me, it's the Calyx eight unit, um, what do you call that, shelf, but we put it on its side with casters to make it a six unit shelf, and then two tabletop pieces, so the desk pieces that we've sealed in the middle to customize this desk. And I put baskets in it and the drawers, and then my chairs that I ordered from Wayfair, but here, get ready for it, is the awesome this piece is one of my favorite parts about this desk. It's meant to sit on top of the desk, I guess to put your computer and such on top, but I flipped it upside down and it fit perfectly with a tabletop between the two bookcases. And it stores my paper trimmer, my wipes, the drawers will flip and work upside down to what it's traditionally meant to do. And I love this um, actually kind of, I don't know, what do you call it, Ikea hack? So let's take a look at this unit as well that is from Ikea and it's one of their new uh, modular systems that go on the wall and it's a mix of Ikea on here and I have a couple pieces as well from Jilly Bean Soup but I absolutely love this. Tons of storage. Again, some of my Ray Dunn, some storage from scrapbook.com, some of their exclusive stuff. I have this piece that my friend sent me of felt balls that I love. Thank you, Jessica. And then I store my Gina K and all of the Vicky Booten paints and some twine. I love this unit. So it's super easy to assemble and you just can customize the different sizes to fit your space. But I love that little bit of rainbow on an otherwise white wall. So love that. And let's take a look over here. This is the wall I just posted actually on my Insta stories that I customize to have some uh, wall vinyl on here. And it's kind of a keep me organized wall. And then I can also put inspirational quotes on there. I love it. And there's the happy place vinyl I put on there as well. That vinyl and the vinyl down here is from Alt New Stamps. And I love it. So let's take another walk over here. I have to share this little bit of rainbow as well. Isn't that beautiful? My friend Shannon made that for me and I had to find a special spot. So it goes on this unit here. So thanks so much friends for coming on this little tour of my craft room. I look forward to answering any questions that you have and sharing uh, details of the room in smaller videos because I think that uh, this is long already and it will be beneficial to share little videos of details like the storage in the drawers and things like that. So definitely put any questions that you have in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them and if there's anything you'd like me to focus on in another video I'll be happy to do that. But I'm so glad that you guys joined me today and I look forward to seeing your comments and hoping that I can guide you in any way I can to make your creative space all yours as well.